all right you guys welcome to kimmy tv i am back with another video this is my honey glazed salmon topped with black garlic and everyday bagel seasoning and slofito italian slofito from trader joe's not a sponsored video but if you want this tasty recipe and also this tasty meal stay tuned and watch me make it from start to finish so here we go All right, you guys, um, these are my seasonings. We got salt, thyme, slap your mama, smoked paprika, garlic powder, lemon pepper seasoning, Spanish paprika, um, smoked paprika, if I didn't mention it, garlic herb, rosemary, everyday bagel seasoning, and Italian slofito. Also add sugar, black garlic, and salad and vegetable seasoning to your thing. You need a teaspoon of everything, so a tablespoon of everything. So go ahead, prep that, put it to the side, pause the video. All right, you're just gonna need the honey in the middle. We're not gonna use the cooking wine or the honey sauce. Honey in the middle, local honey will be better. Um, you're gonna use onion and chives and garlic, Parmesan and unsalted butter, unsalted butter. For your squash medley, squash, bell peppers, onions, unsalted butter. We're gonna add some, bam, baby bella mushrooms. Chop up those mushrooms. And remember to use unsalted butter. Rinse your vegetables off. My kids don't eat that, so we're gonna eat green beans. We're gonna put green beans for them. So, you're gonna see me cut up my bell peppers. They are not spicy, they are very sweet. They will take you to Flavor, Flavor Town and give you color and culture. You see me dice up my bell peppers. I remove my seeds and throw them in the trash. I put them to the side, but I'm going to eventually throw them in the trash. Um, as I mentioned, um, you're going to have a lot of culture and a lot of flavor in this meal. Okay, y'all? So, don't be shy. Um, make sure you prep everything. And, um, I am using a clean cutting board and a clean knife. And I also wash my hands and my vegetables. Okay? This is a sweet onion that I, you know, peeled the roots off the ends and, you know, peeled the first layer off. And you're only going to use half of that onion, okay? Put the other half in the refrigerator. So this is my whole salmon that I rinsed off. This is how I peel my skin. I do not eat skin on my salmon. And that extra skin that's on that, the extra meat that's on the skin, I peel that off with the knife. So, bam, that's the salmon. Get some tin, and I spray my pan with olive oil spray. I chop my salmon up. My kids lost my brush, so I am brushing it with a spoon. That's the unsalted butter by itself in the microwave. So get you some unsalted butter, put it in the microwave, rub it first before you add your seasonings um, to ensure that the flavor is going to go through the salmon. We're gonna start with some salt. Um, not a lot of salt because you slap your mama and um, Lemon pepper comes with some salt, so you don't need a lot of salt, but you need a pinch of salt for some added flavor, not a lot of salt. So you're gonna turn around and see me add some slap your mama to it. Not a lot of slap your mama, just enough to, you know, get you some added flavor. Um, you can get that from Walmart um, or any local grocery store. It's a great seasoning, shout out to the company. Um, not a sponsor video. But you see me adding that, and I'm going to add some smoked paprika to it and some Spanish paprika. I did mix the Spanish and smoked paprika together. So um, while I was seasoning, I had my daughter to shout to my son for the video, um, recording the video, because mama didn't know what she was doing. So you see me add the lemon pepper. And um, while I was doing that, my daughter was actually going to... Um, warm the butter back up because um in the next step i'm going to add honey and two no one teaspoon of no one tablespoon of brown sugar okay so it was one tablespoon um you're going to need a tablespoon of every seasoning so it's best to prep all of your ingredients before you start that means cutting up your vegetables, putting your seasonings on a plate. I pinch my seasonings, my seasonings onto my salmon or any my other um, in my other foods because it does not make my food salty. So we're not going to salty town. We're going to flavor town. Okay. 
All right, you're going to see me add, um, that was the garlic herb seasoning. You're seeing me add to it. Um, it's already looking good, so. And that's me adding some onion powder to them. Um, I didn't add it to all of it because my husband, he's not a fan of onions, so. If he's in the kitchen looking, so he saw me add onion powder, he wasn't going to eat it, so. I added a little glaze. You see, look, look, look at me being petty. I added a little pinch to the, <laughs> to it. He ain't even know what, so. That's me adding my onion powder and me um, adding some of the Italian Slofito that I got from Trader Joe's. Um, if you want the ingredients, if you can't, if you don't have a Trader Joe's near you, you guys, pause, go back to the beginning of the video, pause the videos and read the ingredients on the front of, um, the front of the Trader Joe's, um, jar that I have and it will ensure the same flavors. Okay. So you see me add the, um, the paprika to the top, um, the smoked paprika and the Spanish paprika will make it taste like it has been on a grill and it's juicy. Okay. That's the hint. So, um, you're going to see me add the brown sugar and the honey. That's get local honey. I prefer local honey. This is in my town. Um, I got it from the farmer's market and I use maybe a cup, a cup of honey. And I'm gonna mix that all together while the butter is hot. And you're gonna see me add one tablespoon, one tablespoon, okay? One tablespoon of brown sugar. And I'm gonna mix that all up and I'm gonna get my Dollar Tree mincer that I got some fresh peeled garlic from. Girl, that thing got stuck, Chad. Got stuck, so I added some more. And I, I had like three cloves of garlic and um, that's gonna intense, that's gonna make the butter the honey butter you know intensify and add a lot more flavor i prefer fresh peeled garlic um and you see me adding on there and i'm brushing it on there do not judge me because i use the spoon because as i mentioned earlier my kids lost my brush god knows what they did with it and if y'all don't like my voiceovers y'all i mean i cuss i've been cussing so I'm trying to, you know, God trying to get me right with that. But, you know, Sky Daddy trying to get me right with that. And that's why I had to do this voiceover. So, I'm brushing I'm brushing the, you know, the honey butter on top of the salmon. And I probably was cussing at, you know, one of the kids while I was doing that. So, that's why y'all not going to hear the raw footage of this. So, you're going to see me add my thyme and rosemary. And that's rosemary. But I grabbed the thyme and mixed it together with the rosemary. And you're not going to need a lot of it. You're just going to need enough. Um, a teaspoon. And then you're going to see me add the Everyday Bagel Seasoning, which they have, Trader Joe's does have um, have it also. But I got this one from Sam's Club. Shout out to Sam's Club. Not a sponsored video. But it's going to get the job done. So you see me adding that. That's going to add color. Bam, culture, bam, flavor town, bam, black garlic. See me? Shake, 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 not a lot. Shake, 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 not a lot. Shake, 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 not a lot. All right, one shake, you know, two shakes right there. All right, now I got my green beans right here. You feel me? Mixing up my green beans, and you're going to see me. They're frozen. I normally get fresh ones, but I was in a rush today, so I got my olive oil, and... You're only going to need, like, maybe two tablespoons, guesstimating, two tablespoons, just enough to coat the flavor. So, garlic powder, bam. You ain't going to need a lot of salt, okay? Just need a little pinch, little pinch, there you go, a little pinch, gotcha. All right. And you're going to need you some Italian Slofito. I mix that with that little lemon pepper, and you're going to add me a little, little pinch of uh paprika smoked paprika and spanish paprika and there you go you're gonna see me add some lemon pepper seasoning and you're gonna see me add some garlic herb seasoning to it and i'm gonna give it a couple shakes because remember i told you about getting that goya only use a half a pack of that goya okay and get some black garlic one or two shakes that see one two shakes all right remember that goya Pause that video and get your Goya. Only use half a pack. Half a pack, y'all. Half a pack. All right? Half a pack. Okay? Tear it up. Put it on there. All right. All right. Get that Goya seasoning. Okay, y'all? So, here we go. You see me sprinkling it on top of there? All right. Bam. Now, I put a little bit of salt in my 
my water to boil. Let that boil for a second. Add you some olive oil. Then you're going to turn around and add that butter. Put the stove on medium, y'all. Between, like, if y'all don't know what medium is, put it between, like, six and seven for right now. Not high, burning, but kind of medium high. So you see how that butter is corresponding with that olive oil? And do not judge my pot, my pan, because that's a good old cooking pan. That thing done been through many trials and tribulations. Hallelujah. Yes, you see me melting that butter in there? Bam, add your squash. You see me add that pretty squash in there? Let it cook. All right, get you a wooden spoon or, you know, I cook with the wooden spoon when I'm cooking with my vegetables. I believe it's a lot healthier. I also diced it my mushrooms, too. I just didn't have that on video because, girl, I can't hold the camera. My son wanted to take a break. I can't hold the camera and dice mushrooms, y'all. Y'all, come on now. So I did slice them up. Rinse all your vegetables off before you slice them because some people don't wash. They That's a whole nother video to talk about. But wash your vegetables. And you see me add the onions and those bell peppers to it. And you're going to see me. You see all that? Bam. So I'm going to add some. I believe I added a pinch of salt. And I added some pepper and black garlic to it. You see I added that? All right. There you go. Now you're going to see me add some garlic powder that I got from all these. Not a sponsored video. But I added that. It's cheaper. Um, to add, get my seasonings for certain stores. And you're going to see me add some sugar, y'all. Y'all can see me add some sugar to it. Okay, baby? Some sugar. Um, and you're going to see me add the other half of that Goya, okay? Only use the other half, okay? Don't use the whole thing. Oh, it's going to be salty, okay? So, you see me add my, huh, bam, mushrooms. And wait till your squash get kind of semi-tender, but not too tender. Then add your mushrooms, because those don't take long to cook. So, turn your, your eye down on the stove. Um, turn it to low. If you have a gas stove, cook on low because you will burn your vegetables really fast on a gas stove. Um, this is an electric stove. Turn it down. See, I had to turn it. Yeah, I turned it down. Let those mushrooms cook. You see me get my garlic from my struggling mixer that I got from Dollar Tree. Not a sponsored video. Um, but yeah. And bam, you see that? Uh, now cut the eye off, okay? Your mushrooms are cooked. Now, um, I had used red skin potatoes and white potatoes, but you don't see it, but I did skin the potatoes. And you're gonna see me add a half a cup of milk and a whole stick of butter. Don't judge me. Um, and you see me add my onion chive. You can use any brand you want, long it just have chive and onions on it. Half of a, half of a pound, so four ounces. Um, you're going to see me add sharp cheese, Parmesan cheese, and mix it until it whips really good. Look at that salmon. After 30 minutes in the oven on 350. Periodically check your salmon, okay? Because some people's ovens are hotter than others. Mine's just cooked on 30 minutes in the oven, and it came out like that, okay? It's not dry, and it's not too wet. So, bam. You see me add that? I did put my um, some bacon in my oven. In my air fryer to put on top of my mashed potatoes for some added flavor and that's what it came out to you know be in the damn that's it so if you have any questions um email me no don't even email me comment down below follow my channel and that's that i love you guys and thank you guys for watching um take your time out to watch of course um the recipe in the description will be down below and stay tuned. Love you guys. Oh, bye.